If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. Milky Way, our home galaxy, and nearby galaxy, large Magellanic clouds will collide into huge cosmic collision, which will end with the destruction of large Magellanic clouds, fourth largest galaxy in the local group of galaxies. Two galaxies will collide and the collision was inevitable. Question was when? Magellanic clouds, which is also one of the largest and nearest galaxies to our own Milky Way galaxy, lies some 163,000 light years away. The LMC, as it is popularly known in astronomy science circles, is fourth largest galaxy in the local group of galaxies, also known as the local group, which contains some 50 odd galaxies. From largest Andromeda galaxy, which is some 20% greater than our own Milky Way galaxy, containing some trillion stars, to smallest galaxy in the group, which may contain only a few million stars. LMC, on the other hand, contains around 20 billion stars and has a mass of nearly 10% of our own Milky Way galaxy, some 70-75 billion solar masses. However, it is a relatively small galaxy when compared to Milky Way, only 14,000 light years across. Milky Way is estimated to be at least 175,000 light years across and contains over 500 billion stars. However, before you start screaming, the end of the world is nigh. The said collision won't happen for another 2.5 billion years, so you have plenty of time. The unfortunate discovery was made after scientists ran computer simulation on the movement of the LMC, one of the many satellite galaxies of, that orbit Milky Way. Rather than circling a safe distance or breaking free of the Milky Way's gravitational pull, the researchers found that LMC is destined to clatter into galaxy we call our home. At the moment, the LMC is estimated to be around 163,000 light years away from Milky Way and speeding away at around 400 kilometers per sec. But simulation by astrophysicists at Durham University showed that the LMC will eventually slow down and turn back towards us, ultimately smashing into the Milky Way in about two, two and a half billion years time. While individual stars and planets are unlikely to collide, the arrival of galaxy weighing as much as 70, 75 billion suns will still wreak havoc. It is not all doom and gloom though. The odds of the collision casting the solar system into more rarefied region of space are slim. The researchers report in a monthly notice of the Royal Astronomical Society. Marius Scouten, the first author of the paper, said the chances of cosmic exile were about 1 to 3%. In one sense, the collision with the LMC is long overdue. The Milky Way is an oddball among spiral galaxies. The halo of stars that surround the galactic disk contains far fewer stars than comparable galaxies. But that is not all. The supermassive black hole at the Milky Way center is paltry at best. Only one tenth as massive those found in the heart of similar galaxies. The galactic merger will change all this. Once the LMC gets gobbled up by Milky Way, our galaxy will become a beautiful normal spiral. Most of the halo will become stars from the LMC and the black hole will gorge on the sudden expected abundance of fuel and it will go berserk. The LMC holds vast amount of gas that will be devoured by the supermassive black hole until it reaches up to 10 times its present mass. As it feeds, the black hole will become active and send out powerful jets of high energy radiation. In the past, astronomers who concerned themselves with the demise of Milky Way focused their attention on the upcoming collision with the Andromeda galaxy. At 12 times the mass of LMC, Andromeda could completely destroy the Milky Way when the two collide. The cosmic catastrophe is expected in about 4 billion years time. But the merger with the LMC could postpone the cataclysm. One of the byproducts of the collision with the LMC is that it will move the Milky Way a bit, and that may buy us a couple of billion years. The large Magellanic cloud is big, but it won't completely destroy our galaxy. It will produce this amazing firework, but it doesn't have the mass to create a huge disturbance. On the other hand, the collision with Andromeda, that really will be the end of the Milky Way as we know it.